Hello everyone, this is Fosun. Today, I will share this kind of cosmetics. And then go through the middle. Cosmetic effect. Let's take a look at the project. One is a coin sphere array. And an array. And then an outer frame. And a smooth connection. And then add some internal particle balls. Hide this first. Okay, we can see it. Let's create a new project. Let's talk about animation first. Change it to this kind of quadrilateral here. Select clone. You can make it smaller. And more of them. OK. Create a cube. It's to wrap these spheres. Turn on perspective. This is the basic framework. We need another sphere here. Move it up a bit from this gap. This sphere, it will be squeezed into the middle of the cell. Okay, make the timeline longer. Leave a part in front as it. When we start the simulation, there will be some inflation process to use for the inflation time. Okay, x-axis K grid needle. Move it to here. Change the dent hue. Okay, now select this box. Add a collider to it in the simulation. Select the back. This. Add a cloth to it as well. Which can reduce the thickness of the collision. Check the balloon. The inflation pressure. Give it a little more time. And lower it. Let's see. Remember to turn off the scene simulation here. And turn off the gravity here. OK. Then, to make it more rich, we can give it a random. Lower it. Just a little different feeling is enough. Adjust the spacing back here. We'll reduce the pressure here. Take a look. OK, that's about it. Similarly, add a paint to this sphere. However, turn off its elasticity and friction, and change it back to the front, the front part. Okay, this is the animation part.
We can hide the other frame. Or, if you want this side, not shy nature, you can see it off. Then KL can cut it a few times. To make it have some different undulations. Play it. You can. Only in this way, the front will not be so neat. Here, there are, with some slightly smaller undulations. Okay, next, due to the extrusion with this cube. The front will be a little flat, so we need to adjust this area. Select Connect. Turn off welding. Alt plus G to make a group. Change to primary. OK, give it a smooth. And lower it slightly. To make the head, these areas are slightly smoother. Okay, this is our animation part. As for the internal particles, we use the method we used before. Open the perspective here. Give an example, system. Change this to an object. And drag it in. Change to object volume. Change it to start. Just launch it once. Then turn off its speed. And reduce the radius. And display it as a ring. Let's take a look at the default state. Now there are some particles expanding inside. Or, we can start emitting from about 50 frames. So the expansion of the particles is completed. Right. Change it to doctor. Remember to add a particle to the internal area. Add a particle to the inside. Unlabel. Lower the elasticity a bit. Change to internal. Play it. Okay, you can see, there will be a sense of back and forth collisions inside. And it won't run out. You can make its radius larger. And give it a little bit of beach fly. To give it a little disturbance. Is the length of two okay? It doesn't need to be so high. Okay, you can see, except for these collision areas, and where there is no contact, there will also be some slight disturbances. But there is a problem that when they touch, these particles run very fast. We can add a trailing effect here. It's not a tail, that drag. Similar to the effect of air damping. Give it a density in water. And increase the intensity. You can see, in this way, it will not be so obvious when he wears it. As for the particles that were worn in some places just now, you can adjust it slightly after caching. The caching time is okay. Okay. Look at this example now. 
It doesn't run so quickly when running. But let's turn off the drag and take a look. You can see the particles here. They run very fast. Okay, this is the animation part. Next, let's look at the material. Let's take a look at the main one first. This part is the part of the water bowl, which is basically the commonly used a fisheye effect, and mapped it to its roughness. This is a glass material, and there is one thing to note: is that it has a reflection, which has a relatively small roughness, and here. Is to increase the roughness of its refraction to give it a slightly larger value, and the middle part is also smooth. The same thing we need to pay attention to is the background part. We can duplicate it. Let's take a look without any lighting. Then we copy this background. Okay, let's take a look at the color behind it, which is the background board. The effect of the luminous background board on the whole. Here, because it has a smoothness. This. Let's add it. To make it rounder. Okay, that's it. This is in the case of no lighting at all. There is already a. It already looks good. In this case, if you want to adjust it, different ambience, you can adjust it to a purplish color. For the convenience of demonstration, let's directly enter this color adjustment node. You can easily adjust its hue. That's it. Of course, this is because a gradient has been done. Normally, you can make a gradient like this, and darker on both sides. Okay, we can also reduce its saturation here. Okay, in this case, there is a basic background. Now we just need to light the highlights of these parts. Similar to this, you can see there are two lights here. Turn off the background board first. One is which is a backward edge reflection. This is there are some reflective highlights in these areas. Okay, let's go back to this example. Switch to the view. Okay, fix this. Continue to light. The target is this. The connection point. Okay, we can exclude the background. You can see we can light from behind these edge highlights. We can also add a node to it. Search for gradient and pull it to black at both ends and white in the middle. Hold down the control key to duplicate it. Change this to the direction of edge. Search for a continuation point to create a soft relationship, and color it. Okay, unlock it first. Let's take a look at the light. 
Hey. After adding the material ball, it will be like this. You can see that there will be a Hello everyone. Due to the damage to the second half of the video recording, it was damaged, so let's make up for it. Just now, we talked about the lighting. You can see that, after using this gradient processing, the light will become this kind of a uh, softbox like effect. Okay, you can create a softer edge. Okay, turn this off. Then you can see. One is the light we shine from behind, and the other is in the front. Then adjust the direction of the light on some surfaces. Where there are some highlights. Okay, actually, the most important thing is the reflective board in the background. Determines the main color tone. We can use color correction to adjust it in post production, such as adjusting different hues and different saturation. These are all relatively easy to use because the main bowl is made of white glass. So only the background, when the background changes color, the overall tone will also change accordingly. Okay, this is a supplementary section about the background and some reflective areas. Thank you for watching.